it mind would be the dream of hot Yeah, it would be mind blowing. How can it be so inexpensive? How is this even yeah. possible? This still feels too good to be true. And then you just scratched my nipple. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good morning guys and happy Easter from Manila, the Philippines. As many of you already know, both Nelly and I have decided to move here to Manila. There are several reasons why we want to move to Manila. If you want to know those reasons, watch the live video that we did. It'll pop up right here, here, sorry, here. Somewhere. And also we are going to make a dedicated video talking about all the details and reasons of why we want to move to Manila. But today we want to talk about the neighborhood we want to live in in Manila. We want to explore three neighborhoods we've narrowed it down to and we're also going to be looking and we will be looking for apartments in those neighborhoods. For now we're going to focus just on the neighborhoods and the first neighborhood we want to show you guys is Legas Legaspi. Legaspi Village. Please let us know if we're pronouncing that correctly or better yet send us a message on Instagram, a voice message with how the right pronunciation of this neighborhood is. Yeah. For now, let's call it the Great Gatsby. <laughs> So here are the reasons why we think Legazpi village would be a great place to live. Number one, it's not quite as expensive as BGC is. Number two, the traffic isn't as bad as Poblachon. Number three, we looked at a few apartments online and there are a lot of very bright, very big apartments, two bedroom spaces with a lot of room. So we really like what we saw so far. Another good reason really good reason is there are a lot of coffee shops here we love that just to name a few of the coffee shops that are available here we have habitual specialty coffee it's our first time here i can't wait to try the coffee then we have the curator we have tobis estate we have yardstick there's actually two tobis estate even. then we have uh, one of our favorite restaurants which is wildflower we have nikkei the sushi restaurant oh, we have we've been there yesterday amazing yeah it's so good and then of course the area here in Legazpi is very close to Salcido and in Salcido we have our favorite ramen bar, Mendocoro ramen bar, yeah. another Toby's estate, another wildflower, a, D a DJI store. It's very green here so we are very close to Greenbelt um, and the Ayala Triangle yeah. so that makes me really feel like I'm kind of in nature but still in the city yeah. and it's not too much of, yeah, uh, how do you say? Concrete jungle. Yeah, it's not too much. It's concrete jungle, but with green in it. Yeah. I and know also, that. if you're in Legazpi village, you don't have to go through the traffic in Poblachon when you're going to the airport, which yeah. gives you a little bit more flexibility. Lips sinking at the bottom of the ocean. Pulling me down into deep again Into deep again Oh, so long inside a vacancy Things don't feel the same now you're away from me I get so hollow, 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 hollow we have just arrived in the second neighborhood on today's agenda, which is Poblachon. Now, the reason why we like Poblachon is, again, you have a lot of weekend cars. <laughs> the reason why we like Poblachon is we have a lot of cool coffee shops and restaurants and also the city century mall, which is right here. Poblachon is also very close to Salcido village where we have a few favorite restaurants and again, coffee shops. And also what we like is there's a combination of very modern 
and very traditional. If you pass over Makati Avenue and walk up north into the small neighborhoods of Poblachon, you'll see a lot of very old buildings, very traditional housing, but you will also see the new hipster restaurants that are opening up everywhere around Poblachon. Another great advantage is it's just a short walk through the back alleys of Poblachon to get to the power plant, which is a cool mall, and essentially then you're already in Rockwell. Now, one building that is very intriguing right now to us is the Milano Residences because they have a very cool coffee shop at the bottom. The building is very new and even though Poblachon is so busy, it's rather quiet once you proceed to the Milano Residences. So we took a day off um, on Good Friday and I used the chance to look into a few apartments and one of these apartments that we looked at and which looked really cool is actually um, the apartment which is right oh here we go which is right behind me it's the Milano residences and there is a pool right here you can see all these um, nice patterns um, that's actually what I saw in the pictures on um, on a few sites and the good thing is there is directly a coffee shop below and we have the city century mall over there which we visit on a regular basis because one of Mike's favorite coffee shops and barber shops is there. So, might be a good choice. Don't leave me hollow, 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 hollow. Don't leave me hollow, 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 hollow. Don't leave me hollow, 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 hollow. Time to be going through the motions. So one very essential disadvantage of Poblachon is traffic. We stayed there many times. We were struggling with the grabs. Um, it's very loud, especially Makati Avenue. It's so so hectic, so loud. Um, so that's one of the things that I dislike. Um, also, the red light district might not be my favorite district. <laughs> But, um, well, there are places around that are really nice. So I think it's an upcoming neighborhood. Um, as you already said, hip restaurants. Um, you can definitely feel a very great vibe there. We're at Wildflower, one of our favorite restaurants. Um, the bread here is absolutely amazing. It's so good. We just ordered the baguette with some butter, um, some sparkling water, and yeah, everything here is amazing. Good breakfast, good everything, good yeah. stuff, nice people. Um, it's beautiful, it's a very great vibe and it makes me feel like we are somewhere else. Yes, it's and more, more like... importantly, we are in BGC. Yeah, we are uh, in BGC. Which really makes us feel like we're somewhere else. It feels like it's a little Manhattan. Manhattan, Chicago, Chicago kind of, yeah. yeah. So it's a little Chicago in the middle of Manila. It's um, very modern and polished. Yeah, and this is the, actually the third neighborhood that we would like to move to and the third neighborhood that we're looking for apartments in. Yeah, and one of the things that I love about BGC is there is lots of artwork around BGC. And you see a lot of artists um, with the murals being integrated in the city or in this um, area. So that is really amazing, yeah. something that I really love. So the advantages BGC. of BGC, it's very close to the airport. Yeah. Um, you don't have to go through traf traffic to get here. It's very modern and new. Mm -hmm. All the buildings are brand new here. Yeah. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of coffee shops. My favorite coffee shop is here in BGC. Arabica. Big disadvantage. It's expensive. Yeah, BGC is... It is, is really expensive. For the price, I looked it up on the apartments, and for the price that we would get um, a two-bedroom with like a spacious apartment, um, we would get only a one-bedroom here, yeah. so... Although that's... I will say, we did find one spot. But it's a secret. It's a secret, you have and to still I don't want to share it. Channel. I don't want anybody to take that apartment before <laughs> we can take a look at it, because I think it would really... It would be... It would be the dream apartment. Yeah, it would be mind-blowing. It would be something that I, we both yeah. imagined. 
and it, it would be something where I think, how can it be so inexpensive? How is this even yeah. possible? Let's see. At the moment, it still feels too good to be true. Yeah, but I we'll agree. see. Yeah, you definitely have to subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet, um, because we're doing a few viewings with you guys. We're taking you along because we want to get your input as well. Some of you are even from Manila, and you can give us the best advice. Yes. By the way, guys. Yeah. What is up with the 60% of you that regularly watch our videos, like watch every single video but unsubscribe? Mm -hmm. Guys, you gotta log into YouTube, hit that subscribe button mm -hmm. right now, turn on the notifications to support Please. us. Please. Yes. Thank you. Please do it, it would help us a ton. Yeah, it would help us a ton and it motivates us really a lot. Um, so just proceed with videos and, and put in a lot of energy. We put in a lot of energy into these videos. Um, Maybe you just scratched my nipple. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of this. <laughs> a lot of emotions right now. I'm hungry. Yeah. It costs you zero. Yeah. Uh, except for one minute of your time, uh, and it helps a lot. spent about two hours at Wildflower. If not more. If not more. Had a great bottle of vine, wine. wine. Uh, had two old fashioned. That's just, that's just one of the awesome things about BGC, about Manila in general. You can have high quality international beverages and foods. I mean, we had a South African Chenin Blanc, international wines and cuisines on a budget way less expensive than it would cost anywhere else in the world. It's one of the things that motivates us about living here in Manila. So that's it guys, those are the three locations, the three neighborhoods that we want to move to in the Philippines here in Manila. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which location you would pick and also add why you would pick that location, why you would pick that neighborhood. If there's another neighborhood that you find way more awesome than the three that we showed you today, let us know in the comments down below. Guys, if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a, a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video very soon. We will continue this series on of showing you the process of us finding a place to stay, finding a place to live here in Manila. So stay tuned for that. Remember to stay awesome, be positive and make it happen. Good night.